hello coders welcome back so guys if you also want to implement a header or nav bar like this like whenever you scroll uh, down it goes or it disappears and whenever you scroll little bit up then it comes back as a pop-up or it gets pinned as you can see here guys this is the react headroom which is a library for the sticky header for the reacts so guys as you can see here this is my website on which i implemented this sticky nav bar or header I coded it myself because I didn't know about that. And guys, if you also want to visit my website, then do visit for more videos or tutorials like this one. So guys, let's come back to the headroom. And this is the package or npm package for this, which you can install to use this header component. So guys, I have already created a website in my previous videos uh, in which I implemented a header with the Tailwind CSS and Flowbyte, which is a Tailwind CSS library. And I want this header to be sticky whenever I scroll down because as you can see here when I scroll down it goes up with the content and I don't want that I want a sticky nearby header so guys let's go to my code now and you can see here this is the header code so guys let's change the body color of my content so I can differentiate between the header and the body so let's make it a little bit darker and as you can see here this now looks good so now let's come back to our app.jsx so now let's comment out this header and we'll put it later back in the header component so first of all let's implement that headroom component so we can put that header inside that to make it sticky so first of all you have to install the headroom with the given command and you have to run this command in your terminal and after running this command this is going to install as you can see here after this component is installed, we can import this headroom or uh, a sticky headbar from the React headroom and we can just use it as a component in our application. So as you can see, I implemented or imported this from React headroom and now I'm going to write this to import or use this component inside our application. So like this headroom and we have to close it and inside we can pass a children component so as you can see here i have passed hello and it is showing as a sticky header now whenever i scroll down it goes off and whenever i scroll up then it comes back so now let's try to implement or write some code here so we're going to write some h1 tags here so we can see it clearly so now as you can see here the header is working fine and now we are going to import that our earlier header component which we coded or commented so now put it back here and now if you can save and refresh it then you can see the header component is back in our application and it is now sticky so it is fantastic so after that you can see in the documentation guys this is the documentation for this library and as you can see here you can style it as you like and you can animate it however you want so for example when it comes back then how you want to implement the animation and is you can customize that and after that you can see the below you can see the classes here so you can use these classes to style this however you like or animate the uh, pop-up and hiding so after that you can go to the documentation and you can see here there are lots of props which you can use to implement the callback functions whenever it goes pinned and whenever it gets pinned out for example whenever i scroll this page up and it goes off then i want to show a pop-up here on my page which is going to be as a reminder or any uh, pop-up for our application whenever the sticky header goes off so if you can implement with this on pin props or callback function so after that you can see here this is the props which you can use and one of them is the disable and whenever you use this disable prop it is going to disable the sticky behavior of this component and it is not going to stick on the top whenever you scroll down so let's put a disable here and you just have to do that and after that you can see here whenever i scroll down it does not get sticked or pinned so guys that's it for this video hope you like this video and you can explore it yourself more if you want to use more props like this and guys if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe to tutorial for more videos like this and stay healthy keep coding keep watching tutorial